you finally bit the bullet and bought your first or second emulator, and now you're digging into some good old beefy retro nostalgia, but suddenly you get the urge to revisit every 90s kid's best friend, good old Mr. Nintendo. Modding the Nintendo 3DS in 2024 turned out to be way easier than I had expected, and I can say without a doubt, I think this is now going to replace my daily driver for the foreseeable future. First and foremost, unobligatory warning, make sure to fully charge your 3DS. After all the research, I can say without a doubt, Funky Scott 47 has some of the best tutorials to get the job done. His videos are clear, concise, and succinct that even a noob like me can follow along and mod with ease. Here are the steps I took to mod my Nintendo 3DS, what I needed and used, and how long it took. First, you're gonna need a fully charged Nintendo 3DS, an SD card, an SD card reader, a PC, preferably, an electronic toolkit, or any screwdriver if you have the newer 3DS like mine, that way you can access your SD card, which is in the back. And about 45 minutes, maybe even less. And with that, you too will be on your way to enjoying all of the Nintendo nostalgia, and you're gonna be probably kicking yourself saying, why didn't I do this sooner? I know that's how I felt. So first, follow the number one link in the description step by step. Don't rush, don't get impatient, just sit back and play his video. I followed it step by step and I was done in about 30 minutes. And once you're done with that, I would say that's the hardest part. Come back here and watch the rest. All right, after you're done performing surgery on your Nintendo 3DS, the second step is in the link. Follow that video to get the homebrew eShop. And whoever created the H Shop, I cannot thank you enough. It makes me wish every other system had something like this. It just makes emulation so much more streamlined. All right, did you finish step one and step two? Well, the next step is nothing. There are no steps. You're done. Literally, that was it. I was kicking myself for not doing this sooner. It actually is not that bad, right? I thought it was going to be so much more difficult than it actually was, and now I am playing 3DS nonstop. But wait, there's more. If you want to play Virtual Boy on your 3DS, well, I guess that's a thing too now, and here's how I did it. First step is to go to the GitHub link in the description under the Virtual Boy section. Go ahead and download the CIA file, then place that file on your SD card in the folder titled CIA. If you don't have it, just create one. Then back in the root menu, create another folder called ROMs and add your Virtual Boy ROMs into that folder, then eject your card from your computer. And if you're wondering, where do I get ROMs? Well, listen, a friend of a friend told me Google's your friend, all right? Bye, After that, put the card back into your 3DS, then hop over to the good old FBI app, find the file in the CIA folder, and click on install and delete. Open up the Red Viper app from your 3DS home screen, click on load ROMs, locate the ROM folder, and now you get to enjoy the Virtual Boy in 3D. Amazing, I know. So if you're wondering if this is even worth your time and you do have a Nintendo 3DS or you're thinking about buying one, here's what I can say. First off, trying to emulate Nintendo 3DS games on other systems like my Razer Edge for instance, it left a lot to be desired you couldn't access the 3D functionality and the performance from my experience has always been subpar. But by modding your 3DS, you can play these games natively on the system it was intended for with all the benefits of emulation, you know what I'm saying? The ergonomics, they just feel so much better in hand. When the system you're gaming on is playing the games it was intended to play, all the buttons are exactly where you need it. Another, if not the biggest selling point, is the 8-Shop. The 8-Shop is insane. No more having to take out your SD card every time you want to add a ROM or you don't have to go searching on shady ass sites to find ROMs. This is as simple as the actual Nintendo eShop. It really makes me wish other systems that I currently emulate had something like this. It just makes the whole experience that much better. And last but not least, the gaming library is gigantic. There are a total of 3,143 games available to play on the 3DS and you have access to all of them, DLCs included, through the 8-Shop. And being able to have access to their entire library in the palm of your hand is a no-brainer. So if you are still on the fence about picking up a 3DS, and if you have one already and you haven't modded it, I highly, highly, highly recommend taking an hour out of your time, mod the thing, and let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.